Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to show you how to lay out sheet two of the air cylinder project. And in sheet two, the two parts we're going to be detailing are the mount and part number three, which is called the shaft. So I'm going to go to my second sheet, which I've already created. You guys would just right click and pick new sheet if you were going to be doing this. So for right now, I'm going to double click on sheet two that I've already got. So what I did was I placed the front view of the mount and I placed the side view of the mount and I want to make sure that in the side view that this hole is facing me right here and that it's not on the opposite side where it would be hidden or it's not in the top or the bottom right so you need to orient that I've also placed a view of the shaft and what I want to make sure in the shaft view is that this flat is facing me so we'll come back to that in a second so the first thing we're going to do is create a full section of this view here. So we'll go up to our section view uh, tool. We'll pick on this view. We want to acquire the midpoint of that line and come out where we want our arrow to be. We pick. We want to go straight across. Make sure we're not going at an angle. Pick again. Right click. Continue. And then we're going to come up here and place our view. But one thing I want to do is come up here where it has one my view identifier and I'm going to turn that off and I'm even going to put I'm going to highlight it and delete it and put a space do an enter on that alright and I think everything else looks pretty good in this so I'm going to pick uh, I'm going to pick a spot to place that and it'll close alright so there's my top view I can see all this interior detail and that's where I'll be placing dimensions uh, for all the interior detail on this object. Now when I start to dimension things get a little tight right in here so what I'm going to do is a, is a broken out detail and I'm going to um, set the scale for that broken out detail to 2 equals 1 which means it's going to be twice as big as it normally would be. So you're going to come up here and pick on your detail view tool and it asks which view so I'm going to just pick on this view and then a dialog box is going to open and again I want to turn off uh, the marker for that or the identifier which in my case it says it's N that's because I started with A, B, C, D so I've been up through that many the fence shape for this view is going to be this rectangle. So we're going to pick on rectangle. And we're going to come in here and pick about where we want our rectangle to be. And whatever's in the rectangle is what's going to be in our view. So you can see I've kind of got, let me get about right there. If I captured that much of the view, so I'm going to pick right there and uh, move over to the side, pick, and it places that detail view just from that area right there. Now, if I bring this down a little bit, it changes my view. So what I want to do is I want to move this up just a little bit. And to move it, you pick on that arrow or on that dot right in the center. I can bring this down a little bit, and you can see it sort of stretches proportionally. I'm going to bring that in just a little bit because the detail I want is this filleted groove right in here. I'm going to place dimensions on that. And uh, so, and these dashed lines you're seeing right here represent thread on this collar that we have right here. Okay, so you will go in here and place your dimensions and notes. You'll need to say that the scale is 2 equals 1 on this. I will see if I can click over to another sheet, kind of show you what we're going for here. Something like that. So if you want to keep the uh, the letter in there, you could change it to A. Yours is probably going to come up as A because it's your first detail. You can keep that in there and call this detail A and say that the scale is 2 equals 1. Set this text height to 0.125. Just place a regular dimension on this guy right here. Now. I'm going to scroll out a little bit. 
So that will we'll add a note. We'll add all our dimensions in here for the rest of that. And I want to look over here at this view. In this view, we're going to place a top view and we're going to do a broken section of this guy. And uh, we're also going to place a detail on it. So I'm going to go back to sheet two. All right. So I'm going to zoom in. And on this one, rather than do a normal top view, I'm going to actually do a section view right through that flat spot that we've cut. And remember, there's a flat on both sides of this. So I'm going to do a section view and I'm going to pick on this view. And I want to line up about on the midpoint of that. I'm going to move out of here where I want the arrows to be. I'm going to come across, pick, right click, continue. I'm going to come straight up. I'm going to delete. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me go back to that. Did a little more of that deleting than I wanted to. So I'm going to come across here, pick, right click, continue. I'm going to come up to here. Um, I'm going to turn this off. Put a space right there. And then just pick a point. Now the reason I like to do that is because now we can actually see those flats as visible lines. So that would be one advantage. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is do a, a detail of this end down here that will help us dimension that. So we're going to pick on detail view and pick the view. And this time we're going to use a round fence. That's what Inventor calls this. We're going to pick on that fence. We're going to pick in the center of where we want our detail to be. We're going to zoom out a bit. I'm going to go over here and turn this off. Highlight that, put a space. Actually, I'm just going to call this one B, capital letter B. I think that's what you're going to be calling it. And we're going to turn that back on. And the B can go on either side. I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to pick and move out. And then I'm going to place this guy. All right. Now, I can go in here and take this scale one-to-one -one off because I'm going to actually make that um, a smaller text size, 0.125 probably. So I can double click on that and I can write what I want. You know, so it's going to do a scale. I think I want caps on. Oh, come on. Here we go. Scale. Put a colon in there, a couple of spaces, one, then an equal sign equals one. Better put an equal sign in. And uh, I'm going to pick OK. All right. Now I, I can go in there and change the text height of this right here just by double clicking on that and highlighting it and setting that to 0.125, pick OK, and uh, I can dial that in. Now, this guy, um, what I'm going to do, rather than run it vertically, I'm going to rotate it. So if you move on to your view and you right click, hang on, I think you have to pick it first. Pick the view, then right click. You have an option to do rotate. I'm going to pick on rotate here. and uh, you can pick this to where you can go to an edge. You pick on one of the edges and go horizontal and pick OK. Now let me show you why we did that. I'm going to double click over here. And uh, so by pulling that out, we can come in here and we can add dimensions to this sheet. All right. So let me double click on this and see. Yeah. So you can kind of see where we're going with this. I've got some extra sheets in here. I'm trying to look and see what they look like. So this is an example of some dimensions you might be able to add easier to that larger view. I'm going to go back to this one here so we can see what I've been working on. And um, 
Okay. Um, let's see. Let me detail sheet two. All right. So the next thing we're going to try to do is shorten this little bit with a break and pick on break. And it says select the view. And you pick approximately where you want that to be. And you can pick up there. And what it'll do, it will shorten. Now, you can spread this apart and you can trim out more. I'm just picking on this line and picking down like that. And it gives you these broken line symbols that indicate that the part is not true length. But if you put a dimension on it and you dimension from the top to the bottom there, it's going to give you the full length. It's going to show that there's a little zigzag in your dimension line to show that that this part has been uh, broken in this view. Just gives you a little more room. So if you move this view up, let me press escape here. Pick this. If I want to move these views up a bit, I can do that. And if I need to move this, I can do that as well. All right. So um, you'll add all your dimensions to these views here. And in this project, all you're required to do is the assembly sheet and then sheet two um, with all the dimensions for these two parts. So you'll have to add your notes saying, you know, that this is the mount and this is the shaft and so on like that. I don't know if I have this open to show you. Let me, let me look at something real quick here. Doesn't look like I do. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so let me scroll down a little bit. I'll show you what the two sheets are going to look like. All right, so this is the first sheet, and there is a video on how to create this section view right here, and uh, that's in Blackboard. And then sheet two looks something like this. You're going to have all of your dimensions on there. Let's see if we can get it. You'll have all your dimensions. You'll want to equally space everything. All those diametric dimensions I would put out here on the right-hand side. You'll have your notes. You'll have your GDNT. Uh, be sure and take this datum B and align it with this dimension right here because datum B represents the center axis of this diameter right here. And then over here on, on the side view, you can see... Oh, let me go back to that you can see how we could put a bunch of dimensions in here and get, get this shaft uh, detailed out, including where we zoomed in on it. Okay, so that's what sheet two is going to look like. Good luck.